This episode of Kayak Bassin is brought to you by Torquedo, makers of the ultralight 403 kayak motor with a top speed of six miles per hour, a lightweight waterproof battery, and a range of up to 25 miles. For more information, check out torquedo.com. This week on Wilderness Systems Kayak Bassin Show, Chad Hoover's joined local boy Tim Rogers on a private lake at the Palmer Home for Children in Hernando, Mississippi. Hey, my name's Tim Rogers. Uh, I'm friends with Chad through a friend of ours, Dean Castillo, who's an officer in the Navy. I flew for the Navy for 10 years. Um, got out, got hired as a pilot at FedEx, and uh, been flying for FedEx for about seven years. My wife's a counselor. She was the counselor here at Palmer Home for a year or so, and uh, we've just made our home here in North Mississippi, and great place to be, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of fish to catch, a lot of deer to hunt. You know, Tim's a uh, reservist right now, and I fly his T-45s out of Meridian, um, but I, the one thing about Tim that should come to note is that, first of all, uh, for all you little guys out there, you know, the guys that have a hard time making the team, he should be a real inspiration because um, not only is he a pilot, and yes, you know, um, I thought there was a minimum height requirement to be a pilot too, but obviously there isn't. He's flown for the Navy um, and also flies for FedEx, so, you know, all you short guys, you can definitely, you might not be able to ride the rides at Bush Gardens, but you can fly a 757, so, you know. There's, uh, you know, there's lots of reasons why Chad is the way he is, none of which is because of hard work, determination, Discipline, good looks, <laughs> and unfortunately for him, he's had to deal with that his whole life. Good lord! That's her gold! I think he's home. Oh, come out of there. There we go. Pretty good fish. Four pounds. Starting to get a little belly, but not too big. Water temperature's gotten up to about 40, uh, about 54, and we uh, got these fish uh, coming up in the shallows, so that's a good thing. So, good one, not bad. Palmer Home for Children was started in the late 1800s in 1895 as a private Christian orphanage, uh, and has existed for. Well, ever since then, uh, primarily on our campus in Columbus, Mississippi, the original campus, that campus was full and we decided to build this campus outside of Hernando, Mississippi. This campus is about nine years old now. Uh, we have about 30 children who live here. Um, the children that we take care of today aren't true orphans, uh, as most people know orphans. The children that live at Palm today are children who usually have parents to their parents aren't able to take care of them because of drug or alcohol abuse or sexual abuse or a lot of different sad reasons. All of our children at Palmer have a sad reason why they're here, but uh, as you can see from uh, the beauty of this campus and this lake, everything that we've done here is provide a really nice, nice place for them. Uh, usually in the summertime, you'll see these banks lined with uh, eager boys and girls uh, hoping to catch that big bass, just like these guys are trying to. There he is. Oh. <laughs> yes! That's what you come to the south for right there. Monsters. Even when they're not big bass, they think they're big bass. Look at that. Ate a lure half his size. That's like Tim trying to, or me trying to run up and eat Tim. That's crazy. When we built this lake, matter of fact, the first time I saw this lake, it was a soybean field. It was a very uh, crescent-shaped, long, 
about an 80 to 85 acre soybean field that had a huge creek running through the middle of it. Uh, when I saw it, I thought this is a perfect place to build a lake. Uh, we had to put a dam on the north end and the water would just fill up and it'll be great. And it was, it was a relatively inexpensive lake to build for the size. Um, so there's not a lot of structure in the lake other than uh, each one of these uh, coves in the lake had a ditch running into it and then of course that huge creek uh, that was out in the middle of the lake is still there. The dam is 1,300 feet long with the big ass carved in it and it's a great place to fish. They, they love to uh, get in those rocks and find all the little minnows and redfin shad running around there and the crawfish. So it's a great, great, great place to fish down the dam. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.